Hey everybody, Brenda here. How are you all doing today? I am back from my glorious weekend, ready to hit the grind again. <clears throat> so um, today we are going to work on uh, changing this envelope into this embellishment for your journals. So this is the front side and this will flip over the page like so. So you'll have it like this and um, it will be on with like a little clip or something to hold it at the top. And once the recipient or whoever takes it off, they will find on the underneath side a another part of the envelope with a nice long pocket right here. So it's basically a floating, <clears throat> it's basically a floating um, pocket. So um, I thought I would come on today and show you what or how I made it. And I'm very sure it's been done many times before. So I chose this envelope and it's got a little tear right there, but I think that will be hidden anyway. So what I did is, this is a mail envelope that I received in the mail. It is nine and a half long by six wide. And what I had did, I always try to figure out, well, how can I use an envelope that's got these two windows like that? So I flubbed around with it and decided to fold it right in between the two windows. And it is a little, uh, you know, it's a little, hard to do it okay but it can be done as you can see if I can do it anybody can so I folded right in between the two windows okay like so and then I folded this almost down to that side window there so I did that like so. That will be your uh, flip that goes over the page. Okay, so it will be like this basically. So you have your flip that goes over the page and then this will be your pocket. And then this will be the side that shows on um, the page. So that's the beginning. Now the hard part for me is finding out what to put in the windows because I I wanted that done first before I did anything to the envelope. Okay, so what to put in the windows. And I probably should have got something before that would fit. And that side would fit in this window, so I may use that. That's kind of dark, but I like it. And I am just going into my my uh, stash that um, I have here, just picking things out of that. If I can find anything for the bigger window, I don't want that. <laughs> Halloween. Um, let's see. I kind of like that, but I don't know if that will. Yeah, that will look all right. So, I like that, but I don't know if I like the other one. 
for the little window. So let me see what else we have in here. <clears throat> Gotta be something I can use. With some kind of pictures or something on it. I might just use that because that has a little butterfly on it so I'm not gonna I'm trying not to be picky so let's do that let's get these ready for the um for the inside the envelopes and I am just going to finish cutting this off right here That is Elora. <clears throat> if you are hearing anything, well, that was a straight cut. That was. And I think I can cut this. I do my envelope. This will be the smaller one. So, yeah, I can cut that right straight across the bottom. So, I hope you guys are all doing well. I, um, left my daughter in West Virginia way too soon. <clears throat> but it we had a fun time, very fun. I probably should, yeah, cut that down some. Cut that down about right in half. So what I want to do is put this, if I can figure out which way it goes, goes like this, and I want to stick that right on that window. So that will be there. Let's get that stuck down and still make sure that I do it the right way, but I'm just going to glue all around the perimeter here. And, um, you know, you can put anything basically in the windows. You can put uh, <clears throat> Tim Holtz or flowers or butterflies or whatever you wish. Okay. Put that down. And I want it so I can't There we go. Okay, I like that. So I find it easier to just fill your windows first before we go about um, the rest of the before we go about doing the rest. So let me see what this will look like. Oops. like that. So let me glue this down and then we will get the rest of the um, <clears throat> the rest of the envelope going. Oh, I'm using Eileen's Tacky Glue <clears throat> for my glue this morning. Okay, make sure that it's right side up. And that I 
place it where I want it. That looks about right. I want to make sure that I don't go over this fold line. Make sure that it folds. <clears throat> make sure that you can still fold the paper. And that will go just like that. Burnish that down. Okay, so now we can glue down the envelope. And I'm using just some Scotch Create and glue stick to do that. I have got to learn not to tear into my envelopes that I get in the mail because if I could open it up, like say with a um, mail letter opener or something, I might be able to save my envelopes a whole lot neater than I do. So I'm just gluing these little pieces down that I tore apart. Okay. All right, so we have this and we have this. Now, because um, this part here with this folded over is a little thick, I decided to cut that little corner right off. so it wouldn't be so thick right there. So now we can um, fold this down and I am going to trim right along there just to even it out. Try not to cut into the envelope, okay. <clears throat> so then, it's that little, little tiny corner piece there. There we go. Okay, so I cut that off so this wouldn't be so thick and obnoxious for us. So here you have the front, the back, or if you chose, you could also, I, no, you couldn't, don't follow that. I was going to say you could fold it this way, but no, I would have this as your front and this as your back. <clears throat> so now we basically need to get our envelope covered. And I started with this side here, so then we can get this part um, down. And I think I am going to use, see, I've got some um, little papers here that my daughter gave me while I was down there. So I thought about putting that down on this side and maybe some, um, maybe some, uh, dictionary or something at the top. See what we've got here. Or book page. So I think I will put this down. Let's see, is that going to be? I'm just checking to see how far up this will go. Actually, it'll go all the way, won't it? Hmm, I guess I'll put just put that there. So I want it to be just underneath the just underneath the side that folds down. So I will cut it 
about right there. And glue that right there. And that will fold down and that will fold down. I still want to though put that little piece there. So let's do that. Use this little piece for a so I think I like that side better. I'm going to add this right at the top, right underneath the top flap here. There we go. And then I can put this down. So right as we were leaving my daughter's house to come back home, oh, I wanted to tell you too, please excuse, well, I don't know excuse, but um, I wanted to let you know that, um, hold on just a second. Okay. My nails. I wanted to explain my nails. They look like this. I did not get them professionally done except for they were professionally done by my three-year-old granddaughter. So that is why. And I wanted to explain that to you right, <laughs> right in the beginning. She's the one that did my nails. So <clears throat> that is why they, uh, you should see my toenails. Oh my goodness. But she did a great job for being three. So, yes. <clears throat> Had a good time. Very good time having all my grandchildren together. So, for this, um, I think I'll put maybe some book page or something down here. Let's see what I got here big enough that should do so um yeah <clears throat> excuse me we had a a lovely time but don't the time just fly right by when you're visiting relatives that's the only bad part about going visiting is it and her house is beautiful they bought a beautiful house in um, Milton, Vermont, uh, West Virginia. I started to say Milton, Vermont. That's where she's from, is Vermont. And um, very nice place. I am just trimming off that book page. <clears throat> there we go. So we will put that there. <clears throat> and down the side, I've got some I've got some of this, I think. I'll put right down the side here. And that needs to be about right there. Okay. Where's my tear ruler? Get my tear ruler out here. So um, she lives about three. <coughs> Three and a half hours away. Well, that wasn't very straight now, was it? Let's see how it's going to put it over just a bit. 
It'll be all right. Um, right now she is about three and a half hours away, so it didn't take long. But um, we did, so we didn't get lost, but we sort of uh, went off track and took the scenic route. And that was pretty sketchy. Kind of scary. I don't know if you all have been to West Virginia or been up in the mountains like that, but there are some places that are really um, out there. <laughs> it's a, the only word I can think of, really out there. So, yeah, but we finally made it, found her house, and um, they live, to me, it's like where their house is, is a totally different world than what uh, the state looks like. Of course, we didn't see very much of the state, so I really can't. I can't, um, you know, maybe, but that's kind of close. So let's see, how about a piece of kind of like that side. So that doesn't have to be very big at all. Anyway, we had a good time. Now, <clears throat> Elora's mom was sick. And did I finish that sentence before? I was going to say, when we went to leave my daughter's house, my little three-year-old's um, she had a fever of 103, and she was um, thrown up when we went to leave. I felt so bad leaving, but I didn't want to hang around the sickness either. So, yeah, that was pretty bad to have to leave. But she's much better. Um, by the time we got home, um, she was doing better. So that um, took away some of my anxiety, <coughs> knowing that she was doing much better. I hate it when my little babies are not feeling well. So I'm just trimming this right along here. Just trying to keep everything flush with the side. <clears throat> and then up here, maybe some of that will look okay. Most of that's going to be hidden anyway, so <clears throat> we can little piece might just fit just like it is then I'd still have to put something up there let's see that one new no. let's put some more of this well maybe just some book page or something because it's gonna be hidden whatever it is not big enough that way but it will be that way
we how'd I say I was going with it like that like this because I want the <clears throat> I want the um, that side down towards the picture so let's get this cut trimmed off and then we should be able to I think glue down our pocket on that side Here. Get that off right there. There we go. So we have that covered, and this will go down like so. So we need to put a nice piece there. And that might be where I use this. Yes, I will use that there. But we should be able to put a little bit of glue right along the edge here on both ends and glue this one was is was much easier to do than the first one the first one I was like oh what do I do how do I fold it but the more you do these the easier it gets. So I will be finding some more of these um, these kind of envelopes because I love how this turns how this turns out for using. <clears throat> so this will be the flap down, and I thought this would go right here. I like that. So I will cut it here. <clears throat> Oops, just trim it. Good way to use up your envelopes and to use up your um leftover papers. And that is what I've been trying to do um, these last few videos is use up my scrap papers and um, I am going to be doing a lot of, <clears throat> not necessarily on uh, video, but I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, collaging and stuff. To use up some of this paper because I have lots and lots. Oh, I could no, I don't want to fold that over. I did on the other one, but it, this one's not long enough, so I'm not gonna fold that over. Would have been nice to be able to, but I didn't think about that ahead of time. <clears throat> so let that dry. It's got glue on it. So now I am going to, well, actually, I'm going to cover this side too. You want this side covered too because it is going to uh, show. So I guess that would be okay unless we want a lighter. I like that better, but I was thinking about using that on the front too, so. Um, I have enough for both sides anyway. So let's just put this right here. I do with this one I think I put yeah I just use book page um 
And do I want to do that again? I think I do. I think I'll just put book page under there because that isn't going to be seen until you, uh, until you lift it. So I think I'm just going to put a piece of book page there. I love this book page anyway. It's beautiful. Uh, brown vintage looking. Cut it there, but I also need to cut it about here. So, um, haven't got a clue what I was talking about earlier. So, let me get this on. Oh, yeah. Now I remember <laughs> I was talking about um, doing lots of collage projects to try to um, tone down some of my uh, scrap paper and I do have lots of it to get through so um, there there we go so we've got this side done now we need now i can um do the corners i wanted to wait until i got my corner chomper here on the half and just trimming those corners down so we've got this side all done and we're going to go over to this side. So over here, I do want, I think this at the bottom, I do like that. So I am going to cut that down. about there and I do want to have a raggedy edge if I can get it that way there and I always try to distress the uh, edge that is going towards the window I always try to have that distressed so that will go right there and cut that what did I do my mark lost it all that quick okay <clears throat> Uh, Alrighty, and I'm going to use my Eileen's Tacky Glue to... Ooh, that side looks nice too, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I use this, I'll use the stripes. But either one would have done nicely. Whoops. Oops, turn it this way, put it on right here, like so, and trim. These are so fun, you guys. If you try it, you will enjoy doing this. They make great little floating pockets. Okay, now on the side, 
<clears throat> I think I want, I wonder how some of that would look like that. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty. I like that. So let's tear down the end. Because I want that like so. We'll tear off the bottom. Hubby made me a little, a little knobby one. He was just playing around and um, <clears throat> made that for me. Okay, so I am going to glue that right there using Eileen's tacky glue. not to cut the envelope. There we go. And let's see, that's not big enough there. This will be, so I will trim this on both sides or one side anyway get it nice and oops that will do so let's get that distressed and we will put the, that one down Side's pretty too. When I get done, I'll show you what my daughter gave me. I was so thrilled with getting it. So we want that about right there. wonder why my scissors are so sticky. All righty. And now we have the little piece, which could be book page or something, maybe. Oh, we, got, oh, we got this. That's already the right size for us. So let's use that. Love it when it works out like that. Okay, that'll work. Let's see, I want this 
side. Sorry, I'm so used to putting everything under my nose when I go to glue or um, do anything, cut or glue, it just goes right under my nose. All right, let's put this right down here. And we can just cut down the side. There we go. Keeping all my little pieces. And now we can just distress the whole thing. These are so fun, guys. I love, I love making them. Probably make some more if I can. I had a hard time finding the envelope to, uh, but we get these all the time. These kind of envelopes come from like the VA and stuff. So I've got plenty of them somewhere. I just got to track them down. Now see at the top here, the, the first time I um, folded that right over. And I kind of uh, like how I did that there. So if you can plan it right, plan so it, it, you know, folds right over but doesn't come down past your little window on the front side. So this, um, I don't know, I might put some washi tape or something there. So now we need to decorate. All done with the messy part. Put these back in my stash. Okay, put the cover on this. Okay. So to decorate, I know I want oh, it's under here. I know I want one of my mushrooms on the front. I kind of like that. Just like that. That's pretty nice. And let's see what else we have to choose from. These, of course, are going in my uh, mushroom journal. So I'm choosing, I think I'm gonna like that one the best. The rest are kind of tiny. Let's go with this one. I like that. So that's gonna be on the front. We will ink this up, get some of the white tone down. <clears throat> just very lightly going over the white areas so I can just tone it down some. will fit right there. Try to get on around that corner just a little bit on my little mushroom there. I didn't like the pickedness of it. I 
My um, journal is Mushrooms and Owls, and I found this beautiful kit um, full of mushrooms and owls. So, um, that is what I'm working on at the present. So, this I want about right here love it okay so since we already have the butterflies up here I think the only other thing we need maybe is a label on the front and I don't know if I have any here that would be big enough or whatever. Too big. Um, nah, don't really like that. Well, let's see, what else do we have? That really don't show up either. I got journal. Mm, I kind of like that there. Now, do we want something behind it? Or, um, just looking at this, maybe just a little, a little tiny piece. I think I could have made it just a little bit wider. But I don't want it too wide. <coughs> Unless, of course, I go up there. That would be all right. Yeah, that's better. like to get the little fuzzies out so we will put that right about there just using my tacky glue I probably should use Fabri-Tac but got my tacky glue right here and I think it will do just fine Just get some glue and glue down our little journal tag right in the middle. And got stuff sticking to me. And I like that. So that is the front. Now we could put something, um, I was thinking of maybe a, a 
little butterfly that is uh, standing, but I don't, this one's way too big. Oh, he's going the wrong way anyway. Trying to find something that may be about ready to land to put on there, but I don't know if I have anything of the sorts that is tiny enough. Got some landing ones, but they're all bright blue. Nope. I don't think I have any more in this little stash. I'll have to look around if I decide to. Okay, so let's go over to this side. And over here, I tried putting like a pair of owls. That looks cute right there. Um, let's see what else I have. Got this big one and he is big. So he would fit there or these guys would fit there. Kind of leaning towards the, the couple there. Let's see if I got anything else before I choose. Ooh, he's big too. He's way big. And I've got this little pair here. I think with the coloring and everything, I think I like this one. So I think I'm going to stick this guy, double guys here, right here. Love, love, love these owls. There we go. Get some glue on them. And we have to find also something for the um, for the top, the flip over that goes over the page. There we go. Now we need to find something that will go right along here. And I don't think I want anything like that. I think I would rather have That would look kind of nice if it was cut down. You know, I like that. I would have to cut. This came with the kit and I like that. The, with the colors and everything. So let's see if we can cut it down to make it look. don't know how how wide it should be well, let's see how that is after we I can use that 
after we do the, um, I might, well, let's see what it looks like. My chomp con corner chomper is a little um, full. I do. I like that. I think I'm going to put maybe, well, let's ink it up then see what it looks like. Have to ink it to see for sure what it's going to look like. I like it. I am going to put this down right on the cover. So then we will see. I don't think we'll need much of anything else after we get this down. I have no idea what it says, but I love the way it looks. <laughs> so, there you go. There is that side, there is that side, and all we need to do is clean up some of my mess. got for here. Maybe one of these. Just for looks right now, it'll probably, probably be changed. One of these. Got a lot of room to tuck things down here. So guys, there you have this. It will go over the page like so. So that will be on one page and you could even after this is uh, got a paper clip on it, that could be an up tuck on that side. Whoa, <laughs> that blends in. And then you have this side and that would be like that. I love these, love them, love them. They are so easy to make. So you guys, I hope you try one or two or maybe three. And see, that's what I was looking for is um, a little one that stands like that for the mushroom. And I might find a little something that sits maybe right on here, just like that. I like that. So there you have it, guys. Here is our little um, 
two windowed mailer envelope turned into a journal embellishment. Guys, I hope you try it and I hope that uh, for the rest of the week you are staying safe and healthy and um, are in, enjoying your crafting adventure. If you're new to my channel, please don't hesitate to uh, subscribe. And oh, I was gonna, I'm sorry, I was gonna show you what my daughter gave me. I won't be able to show the whole thing, but some of it, but she had it hanging on her craft room wall. And this is what she gave to me and it is right full of dyes. Isn't that awesome? I absolutely love it. Probably got it upside down, but anyway, you get the picture. No pun intended. So that is what she gave me. And I think one of them just fell off, but oh, I found it. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Looks like a kangaroo. <laughs> so, I got him back on there. Anyway, like I was saying, sorry. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that little bell. And um, future videos will come up for you. And um, I am planning my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I don't know if you know Shannon from Mixed Media Minnesota, but she's got a great way that she got to her 1,000 subscribers. And um, I'm going to talk to her and find out if maybe I can do something similar to what she did. It's an absolute lovely way um, to uh, get your subscribers and uh, uh, get the giveaway at the same time so i'm definitely going to talk with her and get some insight on what to do and other than that uh, i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i will see you again next time comment if you have any questions i will get back to you other than that god bless you all and i will see you next time bye bye everybody happy crafting